new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you A 10 year old girl who was arrested at her Hawaii school last year over a drawing is speaking out about the traumatic ordeal. Tamara Taylor stated that she feels disheartened singled out after the incident at her daughter's school at Wapahu Honolulu. Her daughter, who was only identified by the ACLU as MB, was arrested at Hanawai Elementary School back in January of 2020 after a parent complained about the quote offensive sketch she and other students had drawn in response to another student bullying MB. Other students were involved in the incident. Mateo Caballero of Caballero Law LLC stated that MB was the only child who was investigated, interrogated, disciplined, and arrested. Quote, she was the only black student involved. And this is a statement from the mother. My daughter and I are traumatized by these events and I am disheartened to know that this day will forever live with my daughter. Miller stated that she dropped off her daughter at school on January 10th and later received a call about a dispute involving the children where police may possibly be called to the scene. By the time she arrived at the school, Taylor stated that officers were already there. She was there and led into a room to discuss the situation. Quote, however, what happened previously to lead up to where we were at the moment was never explained. I really don't know what was going on at that point. While in the room, Ms. Taylor stated that she saw her daughter from a distance being escorted outside, but was also told that she was unable to leave. The organization's letter, the ACLU, which was addressed to the Honolulu Police Department, the HPD, the State Department of Education, the DOE, and the State Attorney General's office stated that, quote, police interrogated 10-year-old MB her with excessive force, arrested her without probable cause, and transported her to the police station, all without letting MB see or speak with her mother. The ACLU also argued that the police and school officials took these steps despite the fact that MB was being cooperative and did not pose any danger or threat to any person or herself and without accommodating MB's disability, which was documented with the school. Later in the letter, the ACLU noted that the police and the school officials, quote, refused to let Ms. Taylor see her daughter or fully inform her of the underlying situation despite her repeated requests. Quote, after they finally released her from a room, Ms. Taylor learned to her horror that the police were taking her daughter to the police station. By the time MB was finally released to her mother at the police precinct, she was hungry, exhausted, and had been in the school or HPD custody for over four hours. In her statement, Ms. Taylor argued that race played a role in her daughter's arrest and demanded that the DOE and the HPD change their policies when it comes to minors and disputes on school property. Quote, I was stripped of my rights as a parent and my daughter was stripped of her rights to protection and representation as a minor. There was no understanding of diversity, African-American culture, and the history of police involvement with African-American youth. The family, attorney Caballero, stated that this was wrong and illegal, but it's all too common and it's entirely preventable. Quote, many underfunded schools rely on police rather than the teachers or counselors to maintain discipline. This is why the elementary school felt comfortable calling the police simply because a parent insisted they do so. As a result, children are being arrested for simple disciplinary issues like an offensive drawing. School arrests disproportionately target students of color and disabled students such as MB, who was both. Given the outrageous action of the police and the school administration that day, treating Mrs. Taylor and her daughter as second-class citizens, it is hard to believe that they were not treated that way because of their race. ACLU is given the DOE and the HPD and the state attorney general's office until November 8th to respond to their demands according to the letter. And in another statement, Posted to social media, the HPD stated that they were reviewing the letter and will be working with Corporation Council to address 
these allegations. Yeah, this is uh, vastly different because this is in Hawaii. I can't even list to you any black schools, <laughs> you know, that's in Hawaii. When you look at the population of Hawaii, uh, they pretty much consider everybody a minority because of how, I guess, even uh, evenly distributed the uh, population pretty much is and how diverse the population is. Um, so that's not going to happen. And more than likely, there's not enough uh, African American people or foundational Black Americans there in order to, uh, you know, actually create those type of schools and different things in that nature. But this is when I commonly just state, you know, cut and dry Black people. Yet again, another example of why it is that we need to create our own schools, why it is that we need to homeschool our children um, so that things like this won't happen, so that we can alleviate trauma and distressing situations, you know, um, from our children's lives. Right. Because as children, you know, you don't want them going through, you know, stressful events like this. You want them to just focus on, you know, schoolwork, uh, colors, their best friends, you know, movies. Uh, uh, music, video games, you know, stuff like that. You want them to focus on things that normally, you know, children should be worried about, which, you know, is, you know, pretty simple things, right? They should not have to worry about being 10 years old and being put in handcuffs by police and then being escorted out of a school like a criminal as if they 100% did something wrong and then being taken down to the precinct as if they just committed a crime. All she did was do a drawing of the bullying that took place with her. And if that drawing was as bad, right, as they're trying to make it seem that they really needed to call the police as if this was some type of threat on somebody's life, why don't you sit up there and go after the bullies? Why are you going after the child that, you know, seemingly their only way to express what it is that took place with them is by doing art? So that's their way of basically letting the adults know, like, yo, this is how I feel inside. This is what happened. Look at this drawing. But instead of the adults looking at it like that, they saw it as a threat. They saw it as a threat to the other children out there. And because that's how they explained it to the police, the police responded to however and whoever explained it directly to the police that this black child drew this drawing and we are severely concerned and we need you to come get them. That's basically what they told him. Like I said before, no matter how a black child conducts themselves, they will always be seen as a criminal in the United States of America. Even if a child is a black child is complying with police, they will still be put in handcuffs, put into the back of a police car, and then be brought all the way down to uh, the police station for questioning. Like I said, that made no sense. Why would you need to take that child away from the school and down to a police station for questioning? Why couldn't you take them into a separate classroom or a, a, a nurse's room or whatever it is in the school and decide to, you know, talk to that child there while the parent is with the child? Like I said before, this is how coercion basically takes place on part by the police because they are left with these minors, with these children, and they can sit up there and falsify and start implanting details and memories and, and start misconstruing the information of the child, therefore making an innocent child into a full-fledged criminal, giving them 10 years, you know, behind bars over something that they didn't even do. So like I said before, it's, 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 it's plain and simple. There are more and more stories that I keep putting out like this where black people just need to pay attention, bite the bullet and be like, all right, I'm going to homeschool my kids. All right, I'm going to get like minded black people together and we're going to start sitting up there, you know, creating schools for our kids to alleviate these issues, you know, from their lives, to alleviate this emotional distress from their lives. But like I said before, you know, I can only say so much. It's up to the black community to 100% want this for their kids. I cannot want something more for your kids than you want for them. So if you really want this, then all those like-minded people need to start getting together and instead of talking, start putting money together, start some type of GoFundMe, 
get some 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 black people in a community that are builders pipe layers and all this other stuff and buy up some land and start building these schools it's it's enough with all of the talking it's enough with you know all of the the, the book writing and all this other stuff like all of those words are nice but it's just going to be nice up until action is actually performed to make that a realization so we want to see if black people are really ready for that realization or if black people just want to talk but anyways let me know what y'all think about this video and everything that i stated in the comment description below and as always peace love and stay tuned for the next video